gentlelady from Georgia. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, and I appreciate everyone on the Rules uh, Committee uh, for working so hard through the amendment process. I have filed four amendments, which I would ask the Rules Committee to consider. Uh, my first amendment, Amendment Number Two Hundred Three will prohibit funding from being used to promote the LGBTQ initiatives and policies within the FAA. My amendment um, is an important one because we need to stop talking about the way people sexually identify with taxpayer dollars. Uh, the FAA website and Twitter account are frequently, uh, frequently post LGBTQ content that should have no place in our aviation administration and I think it's important to acknowledge at this time the mission statement of the Federal Aviation Administration, which is our continuing mission is to provide the safest, most efficient aerospace system in the world. Talking about people's sexual identity has nothing to do with this mission, mission statement. I would also like to remind everyone, and I think this is important to talk about, the preamble of the Declaration of Independence, which states we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Our preamble of the Declaration of Independence recognizes that all men are created equal. We don't need to promote people's sexual uh, identity with our tax dollars. We know that people are equal, and we recognize that. But I would like to show the committee here that the FAA Twitter account spends a lot of time talking about uh, sexual, sexual identity as they frequently post on their Twitter account. Talking about everything from um, uh, Pride Month to Trans Awareness Week. Um, recognizing different different people for their sexual identity. Again, this, this does nothing to keep us safe on airplanes. Um, the FAA committee recommends shifting to gender neutral language. I don't see any need or concern uh, for gender neutral language with the FAA. This is, again, the mission statement, it's important to remember, is to provide the safest, most efficient aerospace system in the world. Not, again, not about sex, people's sexual identity. Uh, my next amendment that I would like to talk about will prohibit any taxpayer funding for DEI, the DEI agenda. Again, our taxpayer dollars should not go for a woke agenda um, promoting, promoting this. But this is, again, what is talked about. Uh, here's a tweet from the FAA that says, the language we use in aerospace matters. We've begun to adopt gender-neutral and inclusive aviation terminology as part of our agency-wide initiative. You can watch our Inclusive Language Summit, and it gives a link, and then hashtag equity. How much money did the taxpayers spend on Inclusive Language Summits? I think, I think the American people care more about taking off and landing safely. Um, they, they tweet frequently about it as well. The um, lady will suspend for just a moment. The Rules Committee generally doesn't prohibit uh, exhibits. If you have material you wish to submit for the record, uh, you may do so. Okay, I'll be happy to submit this for the record. Um, again, the Twitter account speaks frequently of diversity, equity, and inclusion, um, and these are things that shouldn't be talked about. They should stick with their mission statement, which is providing the safest, most efficient aerospace system in the world. That's what's most important. Uh, my third amendment uh, requires airlines to look at reinstating pilots who were fired or forced to resign because of vaccine mandates. Hundreds of pilots were forced out of their livelihoods over the past several years for their refusal to get COVID vaccines. Uh, they were denied medical freedom to decide whether they should take the experimental COVID vaccine or lose their job. My amendment requires airlines uh, uh, to right their wrongs and, and look at reinstating these pilots who were forced out over the vaccine mandate. And I think it's very important to 
to acknowledge that one particular airline, and uh, for example, United Airlines, there were approximately close to 600 uh, employees that faced termination for, for failing to comply with the vaccine mandate. Um, the last uh, amendment that I would that I would like to the rules committee to look at is, would require the inspector general to investigate the FAA's decision to broaden the acceptable EKG range for pilots to fly. Late last year, after the vaccine rollout, the Federal Aviation Administration quietly changed the EKG param parameters for pilots. The October 2022 version of the FAA Guide for Aviation Medical Examiners widened the range acceptable for pilots to fly. The number of medical events that triggered official reporting requirements among U.S. military pilots rose more than 1,700% from 2019 to 2022. Recently, an Army flight surgeon and prominent opponent of the U.S. military's COVID-19 vaccine mandate posted data on Twitter showing that the number of reportable medical events among military aviators rose from an average 226 a year between 2016 and 2019 to over 4,000 in 2022, according to the Defense Medical Epi Epidemiology Database. My amendment simply instructs the Inspector General of the Department of Transportation to conduct an investigation into this FAA decision. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Now, let me just ask the, the gentlelady seeking Adam's consent to include the uh, material she brought in the record without objection. So ordered. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Louisiana.